In this video, I'm going to be showing the three new features introduced in version 1.5 of the Hayward Tuning Vine. The first new feature is the introduction of prime numbers 29 and 31. The second feature is the inclusion of a toggle down menu, making it much easier to select the one to one note from any pitch within the chromatic scale. I am now going to set the one to one note to B flat zero, the lowest B flat on the piano. From this low B flat, I am going to play a five octave harmonic series. Second harmonic, third harmonic. To play the fourth harmonic, I have to shift along the octave axis. Notice how the central black node now turns pale when the shift is in operation. This is the third new feature of version 1.5. The pale central node provides a clear visual reminder that a shift is in place. So now continuing up the harmonic series. Eight. 12, 16, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, which would have been a gap in previous versions of the tuning vine, 30, 31, which also would have been unavailable in previous versions, and finally to 32 to complete the full five octave range. If I now click on the equals sign to reset the shift functions, Notice how the central node returns to its original black colour. To summarise, the three new features introduced by version 1.5 of the Hayward Tuning Vine are the inclusion of prime numbers 29 and 31, the introduction of a toggle down menu making it much easier to select the one to one note, and the visual cue of the central black node turning pale when a shift operation is in place. So those are the new features introduced in version 1.5 of the Hayward Tuning Vine. For more information, you can download the manual along with the free demo version of the software at tuningvine.com. Thank you for watching.